Uh, we're just gonna get started on a build that we actually built a motor for a while ago. This is gonna be an FXR. It's all nickel plated, frames all nickel plated. It's gonna be pretty, pretty damn blingy. Uh, but we're stuffing that uh, Ward Performance 143 M8 in it. It's got a uh, bagger tranny with a Baker six speed. I got all the pieces here. Rubafini front end, controls, brakes. It's uh, gonna be a high end build. Uh, should be pretty fun. Stay tuned. I'm gonna put the bottom one on the uh, lower tree, put the tree in, slide the top one on, and uh, have the trees on the bike. Okay. Slide this front, end, front wheel in there. I'm just uh, checking a direction of rotation. Uh, I already set this up for the customer. It's got uh, ceramic bearings, uh, awesome brake rotors. I'm gonna put this wheel in the cradle and adjust the frame to the wheel. We've got the axle in here. I'm gonna get a jack under the back of the bike, level it out, and then uh, proceed with the drive line. Yeah. And a Manny. Anyway. It's got to come forward. Oh. Oh, that makes it much more happy. Let me get a couple of bolts. All right. Gonna, we're machining spacers for the front wheel and the rear wheel. It's gonna locate the wheels centered in the forks. Uh, I gotta locate the caliper so that the, or the caliper bracket so that the caliper is centered on the disc. And also at the same time, get the wheels centered in the swing arm and the chassis uh, so that everything runs in line. Um, again, it's a custom bike. Everything is custom. There you go. I, uh, there's another process, I gotta turn down a, a little bit just so that this inner portion is gonna touch the bearing and not contact the outer, outer portion of the bearing. As I said, there's a little step here which is gonna contact the inner race of the bearing on the wheel. This will butt up against the fork leg and one on each side like this. So, that'd be cool. So come on over here for a minute with the camera. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bore out the inside of this, the diameter of this axle, this depth, so that this nut or this hex is protruding just like it is on this side where it's flush. Uh, it's just, it's not right. It could be better, so I'm going to make it better. Look at that. See that? That's what I wanted. Okay, so here we are at our uh, blingy FXR build. Um, got done, made all the wheel spacers, front and back. I got the rear caliper all spaced out nice. I made this uh, anchor arm in here, bolts to the swing arm. Uh, I got our anchor arm, so I'm trying to uh, make all the stuff that we can to, and so I, when I do send something out for a batch of Cerakote or powder coat It all goes out in one batch um, So I'm at that point now uh, This is gonna conclude this episode of, of the FXR build and next uh, We're gonna start we're gonna make the brake lines I'm gonna mount the master cylinder Get the switches and switch housings on there 
mount the gauges. Uh, I'm going to send this over to the fab shop for a full custom exhaust. And uh, I got to line up the sprocket to the trans, get, the, get all those measurements set and settled in, and uh, we'll continue from there.